Sweeney, it is a hidden jewel. It's somewhere where you can come relax, connect with nature, connect with yourself, focus on the small things and take a breath. When you walk down the walkways, the first thing you see is the colour. You see the vibrancy of it, the excitement about it, and it just creates this very colourful, intimate space. They took a lot of the inspiration from the geometrics of nature, from the colours of nature, and again, focusing on the small things. You'll see those pops of emerald green, of teal, of yellow, and it's to emulate the chameleons, the butterflies, the iridescent bird wings. So it's very special. You really do have that intimacy with your guests, and guests have that intimacy with one another. Being out in the bush immerses you into their environment that they live and breathe every single day. They are now connecting you with all your senses of seeing things to listening to smelling what's out there. The food is undoubtedly probably the best food. I've never seen anything like it. It's very, very contemporary, creative and imaginative. I've never worked somewhere where people are so happy and it's authentic. You know, everyone really cares. They want to be here. You watch it with the staff, seeing them with their guests, really trying to get them to understand the relevance of the bush, of what we do out here. I share what I do in the community initiatives with them. Our 100 year purpose is to preserve and protect large areas of African wilderness for future generations. That's what we're all about. And part of the strategy of Singita to say, let's use resources in a way that is sustainable. This younger generation can be taught how to protect and preserve our resources. What Singita stands for in terms of their conservation ethos is true to what they do. And a lot of people are drawn to come to an environment because of that. To me, this is home. This is where I belong and I believe in everything that Singita strives towards, and it's something that I would never find anywhere else.